Hey, hey guys, welcome to another video review. Um, today we should be taking a look at something I picked up for you today because I thought you'd get sick and tired of seeing the same figures reviewed again and again. Uh, so I picked this bad boy up. Um, as you know, I'm not particularly fond of this new waves and that coming out of Transformers. Uh, they're a bit tedious, they're a bit same, they're a bit repacked, they're a bit repainted, and it's just like you read the back of it and it's just like, oh, he fought against Ratchet just after the film, so he wasn't in it then. And he's not relevant to anything that we've ever had, is it? No. So, um, but anyway, I, I looked in my uh, Sainsbury's at the moment, which is having a 25% off sale, and uh, I actually found this guy, which is the Special Ops Jazz. I'm sorry if the camera keeps on moving with me, I have no idea why it's doing that, but I'm working on it. There he is. Uh, for any of you film buffs, uh, if you only started joining the Transformers line in the films, then this is the jazz you'll know, and this is the jazz everybody else will know. So as you can see, they're kind of the same, different paint jobs though, but if you play the Transformers game, you can get this one to look exactly like it, so that's the old one. And this, well, this is the old one, but the new one makes sense. So there he is. I love the paint scheme on this guy, uh, I'm going to put him down over here, somewhere, somewhere, anyway, <laughs> and uh, we'll have a look at him in a bit higher detail for you, I'll just move all the stuff, <laughs> and uh, we'll have a look at him further. Okay, so here he is, you can see a wicked paint job on this guy, they've done an all awesome job, it's quite close to the cartoon as well. See all the inside there. They've even kind of made it look like you could sit in there, which is quite cool. Uh, on top of here, you'll notice, let's just ping on the light here, see if that helps. Is that light even on? No, there we go. Uh, so if you have a look here, there's like a little shield bit which you stick your finger on, and you rub for a few seconds, and voila! It reveals the Autobot logo, so that's quite cool. I thought mine was originally broken because it's been in the sun for ages. But uh, it wasn't broken, so it's all good. But that's quite cool. I like that. Just like the originals. Just turn the light back off now, because obviously it's a really sunny day. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to transform this guy for you, now that you've seen him in his vehicle mode, which is really awesome. Especially with the little reveal the shield thing, which you can't see again. It goes away quite quickly. Let's rub it. Rub the lamp. There you go. So yeah, I'm going to transform this guy for you, and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay guys, so here he is transformed. Zoom in on his head a bit. Look at that. Wicked. He's got a gun, which uh, hides under his... Just that bit there. It hides underneath there when you're in vehicle mode. I must admit, this one might have reimbursed me a little bit now. I, I quite like this line now. I've only got one, so I want to find some more. They have to be G1, I can't stand repaints. Because I know it's like a Revenge of the Fallen, I think it's Brawl was there. And I was like, oh, it's just such a scam. <laughs> but there he is, looking very awesome. I love the design of this guy. Um, if you want to know where his uh, Reveal the Shield thing's gone, it's about there. Ta -da! Which is now well and truly hidden. You can't see the Autobot logo. Uh, once again, for you um, movie buffs, there he is alongside his, uh, well, his evolved form. But I can say, and I absolutely love the film line, I actually like this one more. <laughs> I just love the face on it and that. I think it really gives him a bit more attitude than that one, which makes him look like a cockroach. Oh. Uh, great thing is, um, hang on, let's just move this out of the way. There's little sections around here which you can just fold up and move out. I'm just going to pop me down here. <laughs> Bear with me a second. Da, 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 da. A bit of background music there for you. So yeah, there we go. Oh, I stood on something. So you can get these little uh, speakers out, which I think is really awesome. Uh, if I remember rightly, he actually uses them in the G1 series. But I really like that you can... Uh, just use those just there. I think it gives him a bit more personality, you know. There's his face again, so. 
Love it. Uh, another good thing that you can do is um, take these off and attach them to the guns, which gives this really awesome looking effect. Uh, just bear with me a second, I'll put those on for you. So, you probably can't see it just yet, but here it is. Take the speakers off and you add them onto the gun. Uh, there's like little white pegs here that you just basically clip onto the side of the gun. Just gives this awesome look. That's just from there. Looks pretty awesome. Just the whole figure actually is really wicked. I can't disrespect it at all. I think it's spot on. I see some more like this. Uh, maybe it might. Sainsbury's or Asda, because none of them are going to turn up at bloody Toys R Us, are they? So there's his face again. So yeah, that's the review on the um, Special Ops Jazz, I believe. Oh, he died. <laughs> Special Ops Jazz his name was, I believe. Uh, yeah, Special Ops Jazz. So, definitely keep an eye out for this guy, because he's pretty wicked. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that review, and I'll see you all later.